I'm here today with Richard Ratcliffe, who's been campaigning uh, for the release of his wife, Nazanin Zagri Ratcliffe, since she was arrested while visiting family in Iran four years ago. In 2016, Nazanin was convicted of membership of an illegal group in a trial which Amnesty International has described as deeply unfair. There's now hope that Nazanin may be released. How are you doing, Richard? Oh, yeah, no, good. Uh, I mean, as you say, it's uh, it's a slightly more positive moment than, than lots of the campaigners had. What steps do you think can be taken at an international level to help people that are caught in a situation like Nazanin's? I think there does need to be, uh, domestically, something like almost like a Bill of Rights for, for, for consular protection. Mm-hmm. So if you get arrested overseas, what mm-hmm. can you expect the government to actually do? Could you describe what you do in 10 words or less? <laughs> well, so my day job is an accountant, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Mainly these days, uh, I campaign for my wife, Nazanin Ratcliffe, to bring her home. What would you say was the most important lesson you learned while growing up? I think probably from the past few years, mm-hmm. um, the importance of kindness. Mm-hmm. I, I think a lot of campaigning, I thought, was about you know speaking with a loud voice, asserting your point, mm-hmm. getting people to hear you. Um, but actually, it's the value of, of people caring and being kind and, and just reaching out and connecting and, and, and sharing. And um, what advice would you give to a 10-year-old you? I think our, our lives has taken some very strange directions and, and unexpected directions. Mm. Um, I think just being honest with yourself, um, being honest with others, um, and and being respectful of others. Who would play you in a movie of your life? There is a play about Nazanin um, oh, okay. that, that uh, has um, done around. Um, and someone came out to us and mocked the fact that the guy who played me happened to be a lot thinner and a lot better looking, a lot taller than I was. <laughs> I would hope the same would be true in the films. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say that you're most proud of? For me, it was really important that she didn't feel alone and that she felt that people cared for her. You know, one of the nice things about being out of, of prison briefly mm-hmm. is she to read some of the, the cards that people have sent through amnesty campaigns mm-hmm. and all that lovely care, yeah. the person to ordinary person. Boy, does it matter in this situation. Um, so I think I'm proud of having been part of, of, of that. Uh, this is one of our... Um, kind of staple questions and I can perhaps anticipate the answer um, if there's anything you'd like to achieve which you haven't yet. So there's literally getting on a plane and coming back um, but then the journey back to normal mm. takes some time and you know this is a tough experience at the moment it, it defines us at the moment mm-hmm. there will come a point I hope when it, it doesn't. If you could immediately put right one injustice in the UK right now which would it be and why? At the moment Cases like ours, specifically ours, get, get quite a lot of attention um, because it's quite dramatic because I'm able to get on Radio 4 and talk about it. There are plenty of people that, that are going through similar things but you know, speak with an accent yeah. um, who you know, don't have the same sort of economic base when they can just go to the States to lobby or Geneva to lobby. It's profoundly unfair, yeah. like profoundly unfair. And I think the fact that there is no level playing field I think that's a a, a much bigger injustice than people realise. And is there a human right which is most important to you and why? Human rights at some level is is pragmatic and minimalist. It's, you know, what's what's the bare minimum we all need to to have a a society we can all live with? Well, protection from torture has to be it. That moves us on to the the last question, which is um, if you have any ideas for what can be done to heal divisions within society right now there are always going to be disputes mm. between people and in society and, um there are things that are uneven unfair and, and there will be arguments about how to do it and how much should be changed mm. um, where people are, are honest and empathetic of each other's perspectives you can always find a way through mm. um where people are busy triggering each other's and, and trying to provoke each other mm. you're much less likely to find that but there's you know the power of just saying i see you and i, I really see you um, it's almost the most important thing anyone can ever do. It takes an enormous amount of empathy, um, you know, dealing with the extraordinary circumstances you're in, I think, to come around to that. And I think that's really interesting. And um, I thank you so much for, you know, your time. Thanks, Anne. Cheers. Okay, bye.